Today's battle by Japanese Highlander is the attack on Fort Saint-Jean in the colony of Canada in September of 1775 by the American Continental Army against the garrison of one of the redoubts at Fort Saint-Jean on the Richelieu River, which is now in present-day Quebec, Canada. Within one of the redoubts, we have two companies of the Royal Highland Immigrants before they were issued their Highland gear. We have two guns of the Royal Artillery. We have two companies of the Milice du Montréal before Montréal fell. There are two companies of the 7th Regiment and we have four companies of the 26th Regiment, the Cameronians. The rest of the garrison are made up of local milices from the French-Canadian uh, inhabitants of Canada. Making up one attacking wing of the American army is a New York-based brigade in brown supported by Knowlton's Rangers from Connecticut. We also have on the other side of the American lines we have a Massachusetts Brigade in blue and we have another brigade of American troops from New England as well as a militia brigade. The American artillery is made up of uh, infantry trained as gunners. Uh, however, we do have one gun of Lamb's battery. And we have some continental artillery in black uniforms, and they fell over just before the start of the video. So, this is what we're going to see what happens. On the first round, the Americans will draw their cards first. The Americans get an A, so thus they may only advance or fire. So the American artillery is going to begin bombarding them. Redoubt. We have one hit from the American gun, resulting in nothing happening. There's only a one, so it just smashed apart some timbers. The other American guns will begin opening fire as well. Uh, two hits this time, bang. Uh, we had some significant hits. Uh, two companies of the Montreal Militia have now been taken out. And a gap has now appeared in the wall of the redoubt. The British Canadian player uh, begins their turn by turning up a three card and we'll see how well the Canadian and British can do. So the first action which the Canadians are going to do is jump over the wall, cross the stream in front of them with Mohawk warriors in support charging towards the American lines with one of their chiefs leading them. The Cameroonians are going to take on the American artillery battery. The seventh Fusiliers are going to deploy outside the fort's walls and attempt to delay the militia attack. The Royal Artillery is going to begin opening fire. And we have one gun destroyed on the American side. We also have one American infantry unit taken out. 
and firing in support of the militia and Mohawks attacking, one infantry group gets taken out on the other side of the Americans. The Cameroonians have now advanced towards the American battery and commence opening fire. Four companies open fire, resulting in one gun being eliminated and a bayonet charge checking to see if the gun is going to remain. It fails its morale roll out of three, therefore half of the American artillery has now been removed from the board and the Cameroonians are now holding a position to flank the Americans. The seventh Fusiliers deploy an open fire. And they didn't do such a good job on their first volley. They only resulted in disordering one infantry group. The Royal Highland Immigrants open fire, and they do a much better job by taking out an infantry company from the American force. The Canadian Militia open fire, and they actually took out a militia company. One, two, three, four. Quite a good shooting for their first attempts. On the other side, the Mohawk and Canadian charge towards the Americans is resulting in one, two, three, four, five. We have about four hits resulting in. Oh, sorry about that resulting in two companies of militia being taken out. A morale check on the Americans to see what happened. And Knowlton's Rangers are now in disorder and fleeing back towards the woods. The American uh, Connecticut Regiment is also fleeing in disorder. The sight of the Mohawks and Canadians charging out completely surprised them. The Dearborn Light Infantry Brigade is actually holding ground. On this edge, the Americans are checking their morale, their gun passes, their one infantry brigade passes. 2nd Infantry Brigade actually fall behind in disorder. And an additional Connecticut Regiment is holding its own. Over, further on, the Militia Brigade is holding. One Regiment holding. 2nd Regiment holding. New York holding. Amazingly enough, the one battalion of American regulars has fallen on the wayside. Thus, by turn two, the Americans are still holding their ground and doing quite well, but half of their force is in disorder. Whereby the British force has pushed back the initial American advance. The second round for the Americans is their own three card, and we shall see if the troops can come back into order. The American infantry redeploy and are going to attempt to retake the rocks where the artillery was. These troops are also over here going to attempt to 
storm towards the wall. Support. And thus begins the second phase of this attack.